All right, so welcome to the Community College Military and Trades Pathway session of tonight's event. I am Ms. Cajero, the College and Career Specialist at Del Mar High School. Um, if your student has been interested in colleges or just generally interested in what to do after high school, they are welcome to come in and ask me any questions. They're also welcome to email me in case they forget to come in. Um, I usually respond to emails within a couple of uh, hours. This session is recorded, uh, so we will be able to put it up on the school website. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the chat. Our first part of the session is community colleges. Community colleges, <clears throat> also known as CC, um, or CCC, which stands for California Community Colleges, are very unique and special as we have over a hundred of them in the state of California. Community colleges give you a faster option to get the associate degree or certificate in the career you want. You start career, your career sooner. Your associate degree usually takes about two years and the certificate programs are even less time. Some of them focus on more hands-on career training. There are over 200 career educational programs in healthcare, agriculture, technology, and more. Some of them help you more in transfer to a four-year college, such as CSU, UC, or even a private school. Community college are more cheap than your traditional four years, so they do save a lot of money. Money. Community colleges have the lowest fees in the country and offer a lot of financial aid. And you have the flexibility of choosing your classes in the evening, on weekends, or even online. You get a head start in earning college credit while you're in high school. Seniors who are on set to graduate this year, we encourage them to take our dual enrollment classes that are offered at Del Mar or even concurrent enrollment classes. And those classes are any community college class at any college they can take and they will carry those credits on to the next year. Community colleges make up the largest higher education system in the country. There are over 2 million students attending community college. They offer high quality, higher education, and lots of opportunities to help reach one's goals. We do have a new program called the California Guidance Initiative, and that is the platform we will be using for students to sign up and register for community colleges. Um, once these slides get posted, these blue links are clickable, so you will be able to go in there and find out more information. Regularly, our students apply using the cccapply.org website, and this is where students will fill out their applications for specific community colleges. We tend to do community college applications in the spring of senior year, so that will be between January and April next semester. Community colleges also, they have the California College Promise Grant, and this is two, two, two free years as a full-time student at a community college. In order to qualify for the College Promise Grant, students must fill a financial aid application. It's the FAFSA or the CADA, and their second year, is covered if they have a 2.0 GPA. This is a college GPA, not the high school GPA. The entrance requirements for a community college is you have to be 18 years or older or have a high school diploma or your GED. There are no test scores required. There are many degrees to choose from, including transfer programs. Career training programs can be offered often be completed in one to three semesters. Uh, we will be using the California Guidance Initiative uh, platform for students to apply to community colleges in the spring. A little bit more on the California Promise Grant. If students who choose to go to community colleges and um, 
get in and qualify for the province grant, they don't have to pay for their classes. Sometimes we will see this as a fee waiver. All schools in the Bay Area have the California Promise Grant. Each school has different qualifications, uh, but generally they're all the same. You have to live in California. You have to be a U.S. citizen, eligible non-citizen, or AB 540, AB 2000, or SB 68 student. If students are unsure which one they qualify, we can have a confidential um talk and show them what it means to be each of these sections um, and you have to be in financial aid need. Like I said, each school has a different um, income gap in order to look at that. Uh, to continue getting free tuition, you have to make sure that the student, their first year of college, they get good grades. That means earn a minimum of a 2.0 GPA, which means all C's in all their classes. They must complete their classes, finish more than half the classes they enrolled in. For more information, feel free to, when you have access to this PowerPoint, to click on the link. If students decide to go to a community college uh, because maybe they did not receive enough financial aid for a four year, there are alternative pathways to the CSU and UC system. Um, the first part is Transfer Admission Guarantee Program, or TAG. This includes six campuses offer a guarantee admission to students from California community colleges who meet campus-specific requirements to qualify by participating in the TAG program. These campuses are Davis, Irvine, Merced, Riverside, Santa Barbara, and Santa Cruz. There's also the Dual Admission Program. Students who have a 3.0 GPA and are applying to a UC this semester, but unfortunately are missing one or more A through G requirements at the time of graduation, can qualify for this program. This means that students must apply to a UC this semester, submit their applications. They have to have a 3.0, but maybe they didn't get the all the classes they needed. Um, they what will happen is they will not be admitted to a UC. However, they will receive an invitation that um, by May 1st and they have to opt in say yes by June 1st and students will have extra support at the community colleges from the TAG program and the dual admission program up to three, three years attending the community college. So they will get that extra support to make sure they are able to transfer to a UC of their choice. The other um, alternative pathway to the CSU system is the CSU Transfer Success Pathway, or short for TP TSP. This program is designed to increase the access to any of the 23 universities. If, there's a, if students are applying to a CSU system this school year, but next semester they find out that they're not able to attend to the CSU that they got accepted in due to academic, financial need, or personal hardships, then what they will do is they will opt in to the transfer su success pathway and um, be able to work their way to transfer to a CSU. Students need to be first-time freshmen who weren't, eligible, uh, who weren't eligible to attend a CSU at the time they graduated high school or who didn't um, attend, so that means they got in but didn't attend to a personal or financial, because of a personal financial reason. They will have to graduate high school in 2025 or prior, and they did not receive any college credit after high school graduation. Eligible students can apply through the program, and they will enter um, with an uh, agreement with the CSU and receive guaranteed admission to the degree program and campus of their choice. Um, all st students must meet all TSP requirements within three years and the program must be available at the CSU. In the spring, the College and Career Center will be having community college workshops. 
This means that the community colleges will actually come to Del Mar and guide the students to fill out their application workshops and come back about a month afterwards to help the students register for classes and find out more about the school and what they need. Our popular schools that come to our campus are West Valley College, San Jose City College, Evergreen Valley College, Mission College, and De Anza College. Dates have already been set and in the spring when we come back from our winter break there will be constant reminders for students to come during this time. If your student is in the SVCTE and won't be able to attend, we will have additional workshops to make up. We do encourage students to apply as soon as possible and that way they make it to their orientation. Usually it takes about one to two weeks for students to receive their um, acceptance email their student ID and any additional information they may need in order to be able to participate into the orientation process. Typically, the orientation is held early in the spring and all the way up to August. We encourage students to actually do their orientation as early as possible. That way, they're able to register to the classes and get all the classes they need. If the student is thinking about going to a community college, but it's not on this any of these um, workshops, just let me know and those students actually can come in and work on their application process um, with me and that way we can guide them and fill out all the information. Now, um, one of the great things about the trade pathways is there's many different ways to get into the trading skills. So trade schools prioritize uh, practical skills and real world experience, allowing students to gain specialized knowledge efficiently. Unlike traditional four year institutions, trade schools programs are typically shorter in duration and more career focused. So they can be from six months to up to a year and a half. A lot of our students are interested in the IT technician, cybersecurity, electrician, plumber, welder, carpenter, uh, HVAC technician, automotive technician, cosmetologist, medical assistant, massage therapy. One other thing is that these programs are available through a trade or to a specialized school, or they're also available at a community college. Usually it's up to the student to see what is best option for them. They are welcome to look into trade schools. Sometimes financial aid doesn't cover trade school, so it is out of pocket, but they do work much faster in completing that certification and knowledge and connecting them to jobs. While at a community college, they will receive financial aid for some of these um, programs if the college has them, but the community college will encourage students to do a two-year program that will uh, allow them to get their AA in these um, programs, as well as uh, uh, allow them to transfer into a four-year if those four years have the program. For example, um, construction management is offered at San Jose City College, and it's also offered at East Bay University. So students who are interested that can start their two year at a community college and then get a four year in the trades. So a lot of um, trades are moving up to the community colleges and the four year institutions. Next, we have the military pathways. Um, we do have military come on campus about once a month. Last week, we had the Navy and the Army representing and talking to students about what it takes to um, join them. In the future, we will have the Air Force, Coast Guard, uh, and Marine Corps. All branches who, um, all students who are interested in enlisting in a branch must take the Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery test. Each branch has its own minimum score to join, but these scores actually help determine what are the best option and jobs after the student enlists. Uh, students do have to be a high school graduate or receive their GED to enlist. Um, visits are posted up on 
uh, the College and Career Center newsletter of when they are. Usually these service members come in and um, talk to students just about the different things. If students are interested in joining a specific one but haven't met the representative, they can come to the College and Career Center and I can give them more information of how to reach out and who to reach out. Each school does have different representatives who focus on there. If you would like more information about this, um, once these slides are available, feel free to click on those links. And finally, um, in the spring, we will have the Career Expo. This will take place on Wednesday, March 19th at Del Mar High School from 6 to 8 p.m. This is a great time for all students, not just our seniors, to come in to talk to the different representative, representatives at different community colleges who have those trade options to talk to the different trade school who come in and um, show what they are about. Talk to our military service members who are there to recruit and enlist students. And also just talk to the community in general. We do have a lot of community members come out to recruit students who are interested in joining the workforce, um, who are interested in doing volunteer. They are there. So it's a great opportunity if a student is looking for a, um, a summer job, this is a great way to connect them. And that's all for tonight's present thank you, uh, presentation. Thank you to everyone who joined us and these videos will be posted at the Del Mar website.